This is Sherry Patton Ceramics making a video game controller. Take a piece of clay, roll it in your palms, not in your fingers. I'm going to take it on the, the desk or the work surface and roll it again on my palms to get it thinner. Bring my hands together, roll it a little more. Okay, so about like this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that curve, kind of like a rainbow. So notice I have my fingers here. Use really soft clay for this, otherwise it will crack and be frustrating. Now I'm going to take these ends and I'm going to thin them out. So I'm pinching and turn, pinch and turn, pinch and turn. If there's a little crack, you can just rub it out. Alright, and the other side, pinch and turn. Rub those little cracks out. I'm just pinching. There we are. Okay, there's the basic shape. And now we need a little area here, a fatter area. So we're just going to take a little piece of clay, roll it out, so we have a place for those buttons. About like this. And then we're going to score and slip. Ooh. But it's fast for demos. At least you get the point. I know a lot of you are using different kind of clay that you don't have to put in the kiln, so you don't even have to score it because it's not going to fall apart like it does with ours. Now I'm going to really use pressure to push the one side and the other side, but notice I'm really supporting this side right here and then pushing carefully, carefully and smoothing. We take that extra slip out now and smooth it all together. It makes a really nice join right there. There we go. You can even push it down a little bit. I'm not really concerned about this area too much because it's going to be covered with buttons and things like that. So here we go. Let me get this little corner in now. There, that's better. Get it a little more even. Okay. For the buttons, take two little tiny, about pea-sized pieces of clay and roll them in your in your fingers. Try to make it so they're about the right, about the same size. And now I'm just going to take it and squeeze. There's one of the buttons. Take it and squeeze. And there's the other button. If they're a little bit off, if they're not perfectly round, you could also take a paper clip and, you know, cut them so that they're right. And now I want to make it so those little buttons stand up. So I'm just going to take piece of clay, roll it in my hands, and now I'm going to chop off what I need. I think I want something about that large. I just found the place that looks like it's about the same thickness and length, chopped it off, and I'm going to make a hole. I'm going to make a hole in the back of this, where that this piece is going to fit in and that's really going to strengthen it. You can do the same thing with this one. This is the underside of it. I'm not too concerned with it looking perfect on the underside. There we go. And now I'm going to score a little bit here, make sure it's round. Same thing here. And I'm going to attach it here first. So I'm also going to be making a little hole here for it to fit inside. And I'm trying to make it about the same distance. Another little hole. Okay, perfect. And get the other side ready. Now 
we're going to put the slip. Put some slip here and squish it in that hole. Slip here. Squish it in the hole. There we go. And now we're going to add these guys. There. And squish it right over that. Make sure I support it from the side. Notice my fingers are getting a little bit filled with clay. And that means it's going to make it messy as I wipe them off. So there we are. And then on the front area, there's a little divot here. So I can use something to make that divot. So I can either use my finger to flatten this out if I want to. And then I can use this to make those little circular areas where it has the plus sign and that kind of thing. So here we are. I'm just going to draw a plus sign here with a Scraffito tool. And then I can just make those little indentations where those other buttons are. And I can make them a different color if I want to later. If this is too big, you could also, you know, just press it here. And then you can try it again don't like the shape. I think you get the idea. So that is how to make a video game controller.